What is going on everybody, Zapnatic here, and we are finally to the finals. It's finally happened, and I can say final one more final time for your final fun. So, welcome to the finals, where we are going to take a look at the stats real quick before we get this started. This is sort of a pre-final preview. The Wandel joins me today, as usual. Yeah, yeah man. And we have the Penguins and the Blues in the finals. If you're new to this, just looking at this. We've been through the whole series. We've been we've done everything. All game sevens, first two rounds, games five and six for the conference finals. It was two sweeps in the East and the West. Now we are looking at the finals between the Blues and the Penguins. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the stats real quick that has happened, just to see what maybe your team did if they didn't move on or if they're here, what they've done so far. We're looking at the top three in goals against average first. It's Corey Crawford, a first round exit with a 1.5 goals against average. Very impressive. Steve Mason put up that 1.99 goals against average, taking second. Bishop with a 2.05. He exited in the conference finals. You can take a look at some more that you would like below there that are listed if you want to pause the video and look at that. But I'm moving on to save percentage leaders. Once again, Crawford and Mason taking the top two. Crawford with the 93.2%, Mason with the 93.1%. Bill Elliott is in third place, the finals for the Blues. He's been outstanding in these playoffs. For the wins, wow. this is this is going to be pretty obvious, but Flurry and Elliott, considering they made it to the finals, they each have 12 wins. Duh. Uh, they only need four more each to win it all. And for the goals, Ovechkin, who was a semi East semifinal exit, is leading still along with Stamkos, tied actually at 11. Crosby's in third with 10, tied with Malkin also with 10. And David Backus leading the Blues down there in fifth with 10 also. So technically they're all tied for second. Points leaders, this is where it gets interesting. Steven Stamkos, a conference final exit with 29 points. Joe Thornton, a conference final exit with 22 points and then Crosby in third with 21 points. The Blues leading point here is David Backus in ninth with 16. And from here we are going to take a look at the playoff tree and sort of each talk about what we've done to get here, uh, how we've used these teams, what they've been through. And I'm, I'm going to take a break here and let V. Wandell take us through what the Blues did. I know he had them in the very first round that I brought them to the Western Conference Finals, but I'll let him take it from here. Yep, so in the first game that the Blues played in, they played the Blackhawks. That was our game sevens for the round one. So uh, the Blues got through that one and were able to move on to the conference semis where they faced Minnesota, which was another team that I controlled. So I believe I actually stuck with Minnesota there, um, meaning that Zafnatic had to come over and play as St. Louis. And uh, he was able to move them on to the conference finals there in another tight uh, game seven. Uh, that was definitely a goaltender's uh, game, if I do recall. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, Elliot obviously being in the tops for save percentage, you don't just get there by accident. So... Um, they moved on to the conference final from there, where, uh, again, Zap had to take control as I was controlling the Sharks, uh, my boys from the West, and uh, they weren't able to put it away in that little three-game stint, game five, six, and seven. The Blues took two in a row and moved on to the Stanley Cup Finals to face the Pittsburgh Penguins out of the East. It was a long-fought road. Um, I think it's interesting that Right now, we still don't know if the Blues are going to even make it out of the first round, but we'll have to see uh, how tonight's game goes. Tonight is game seven for that in real life, and then we'll see where that goes from there. But the Blues are definitely a solid team. I mean, great goaltending. They have a lot of good old talent, a lot of super young, awesome talent. Tarasenko is on a tear, and, like, watch out for him. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's just going to be a really good series no matter what. But the Blues made their way through the gauntlet out of the West to face the East champs, and we'll see what they do with it. Yep. All right, let's take a look at the East, the Penguins, my boys here. It was an interesting road for the Penguins. It seemed like it got easier as it went on, which doesn't usually happen because it gets harder. But we'll take a look at the first round, just sneaking out of that in Game 7 in a triple overtime win against the Rangers. Still the best game I've participated in this entire series. Um, 
That game was just outstanding. You don't normally play six periods and still have a 0-0 score. Almost six periods and nobody score. The goalies don't normally stand on their head like that. But we moved on from that. That was uh, just took the wind out of the Penguins, it seemed, after the first round. Then they had to take out the best team in the league, the Washington Capitals. And they managed to do that somehow with a little more ease considering it didn't take overtime than taking out the Rangers. As the Wandel continued to look for revenge, we moved on to the Eastern Conference Finals where I brought the Lightning all the way through the first two rounds with two comeback wins. The Wandel took over the Lightning there, took on the Penguins in games five and six, and the Penguins just let them know who's boss in game five. That game was a huge, huge blowout. Game six, the Penguins ended up ending the series in that one. I don't remember if that went to overtime or not. Yes, it did. Game six was an overtime win for the Penguins. To put them in the finals, um, the Penguins are sort of a similar team to the St. Louis Blues. If you want to look at them side by side, they've got some good older talent. They've got some great young talent coming up in Connor Sheary, uh, Kunakel, Scott Wilson, a bunch of new players that you don't wouldn't hear about on the Penguins. When you hear the Penguins name, you automatically think Crosby and Malkin and Flurry. But in real life, they're without Flurry right now. At least they were without Malkin at the start. And they have already moved on from the Rangers in the first round. And in real life, they are up against the Capitals. So this did get done right in our series without knowing it. So that'll be an interesting, great matchup in real life. But as far as looking at what they've done, the path to the finals, they made it here pretty clean except for some first round kinks and blows from the Rangers. And I think this final that we have right here, the Blues and the Penguins, is possible in real life. It'll take some interesting things to happen for this to come out as the final, but I can definitely see it happening. And I see this series going a long ways, not only for us, but if it is to happen in real life, which the odds are against it, but you never know. I feel like it'll be a long series too. And we will be playing all seven games of this. Oh yeah. So from here, we are going to go ahead and play game one, which will not be included in this video. But if you enjoyed the preview, from both sides go ahead leave it a like um do you have anything else to add on to this actually i didn't ask you about the matchup for the finals well i think um i mean it's going to be pretty straightforward we can talk all we want about the matchup but until we start playing it we're going to have to see how it goes um i mean it's definitely going to be interesting and i'm looking forward to it we can finally get to the top and see who comes out on top and then compare our virtual bracket to the real thing so it's going to be cool. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and we, I will join you guys for game one then whenever you get around to watching it. So if your team's involved, hopefully they pull out of this one. Pull out the win, not just pull. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, but if you are a Blues fan, Lee Wandel is going to be your best friend for the next few videos. And if you're a Penguins fan, welcome aboard. <laughs> I got you, Blues. I got you, Blues Faithful. Let's do it. All right. We will see you next time here on Zavnag Gaming. Bye.